friends today's topic of discussion is design of knuckle joint so here you can see the diagram of knuckle joint this is the knuckle pin and this is the collar split pin this is double eye and this is single eye and you can see various dimensions of different parts of the knuckle joint now we will see the design of knuckle joint this is from the chapter design of joints levers and offset links step 1 we have to design for failure of rod in tension considering tearing or tensile failure tensile stress is equal to load upon the resisting area so the area resisting the tearing will be pi by 4 d square from here we can find d permissible tensile stress will be given in the problem step 2 diameter of the pin considering double shearing of knuckle pin this is the two areas which will resist shearing shearing stress equal to load upon resisting area so resisting area is equal to 2 into pi by 4 d1 square we will take d1 is equal to d for more safe design then step 2 fix dimension using empirical relationship diameter of the pin is equal to d1 equal to d outer diameter of single or double i d2 is equal to 2d diameter of knuckle pin head and collar d3 is equal to 1.5d thickness of single i t is equal to 1.25d thickness of fork t1 is equal to 0.75d thickness of collar pin t2 is equal to 0.5d step 3 we will check the failure of the single eye in tension across the slot which is the weakest section so this area we can calculate so this is d2 minus d1 into t so this is the resisting area which will resist the tearing so we here we will find the tensile stress using this formula and once we get the value we have to see whether it is less than the permissible tensile stress then step 4 checking the failure of single eye for crushing stress crushing stress is equal to load upon the resisting area which will be t into d1 so once we get the crushing stress we have to see whether it is less than the permissible or the given crushing stress step 5 we have to check the failure of single eye in shear so shearing stress is equal to load upon the resisting area so the resisting area which will resist the shear in this case will be these two areas so it is d2 minus d1 upon 2 and this is the thickness so we can find it like 2 into d2 minus d1 upon 2 into t so this 2 will get cancelled so we will get d2 minus d1 into t so shearing stress we can calculate and we have to see whether it is less than the permissible shearing stress so this was step 5 then step 6 now for the double eye so checking the failure of fork end in tension across the slot so here we can find the area resisting the tearing of the spigot across slot so it will be 2 into d2 minus d1 into t1 so we can find the tensile stress and we have to see whether it is less than the permissible tensile stress then step 7 we have to check the failure of the fork end in crushing so crushing stress will be equal to load upon the resisting area so the area resisting crushing of fork end is equal to 2 into t1 into d so then we have to check whether this crushing stress is less than the permissible stress then step 8 we have to check the failure of fork end in shearing so this will be the area which will resist the shear so area resisting the shear of fork end is equal to 2 into 2 into d2 minus d1 upon 2 into t1 because it is up and also down so this will be 2 into d2 minus d1 into t1 so here we have to find 
the shear stress and we have to see whether it is less than the permissible stress shear stress so step 9 we have to again check the failure of the knuckle pin in shear so shear stress is equal to load upon the resisting area the area resisting the shear that is double shear is 2 into pi by 4 d1 square and then once we get the shear stress we have to see whether it is less than the permissible stress if you see overall what we have designed is we have checked first we got the diameter of the pin and later on we find the empirical relationship and all the dimensions for the knuckle joint then we checked failure of single eye in tension then we checked the failure of single eye for crushing then we checked the failure of single eye in shear and similarly we have checked failure of double eye or for in tension then in crushing and then in shear and then again we checked the failure of the knuckle pin in shear so after every calculation we see whether the stress is less than the given or the permissible stress once we check that then we can conclude that our design is safe please like comment share and subscribe thanks for watching